Now, for those who don't know what happened, that is 2019. Miss Jamaica, Tony Ansin, won the Miss World Beauty Competition. She won it. Jamaicans did it again. We've always said that this small Caribbean country will always shock the world. Whether you like it or not, they are out there. Anything you give them, even if they don't win, they are going to leave a mark. Remember the bobsled team that made us proud. Now, what is happening there? The Jamaican girl has just been announced the winner. And she has won Miss World 2019. But what shocked the world was the Nigerian lady. How she reacted. Ladies and gentlemen, let us look at it again. Thereafter, I'm going to explain. Jamaica! The reaction heard around the world as Miss Nigeria jumps for joy, seeing Tony and Singh accept the Miss World. Now, some of you don't know why the Nigerian lady, Miss Douglas, is behaving like this. At the mention of the Jamaican queen that she has won, this, this Nigerian lady, you can see her jumping, happy, you know, going and hugging the Nigerian lady. And she's extremely happy. You could think that she has won. Of course she won. You know why? Jamaicans are our brothers and sisters. And so when she saw that the Jamaican lady won, she knew that that cup came home. She knew that once a Jamaican wins, Africa's won. And so any African... That's why when Usain Bolt was running, some of us were glued to the television because we knew that Usain Bolt's win is an African win. When you see the Jamaicans are making it in reggae, we know that is our music. And so you can see Miss Douglas. She is jumping. She is jumping. Why? Jamaica has won. When Jamaica wins, they've always put Africa in their heart. And so we, we can't be jealous of a win that is emanating from Jamaica. We can't be jealous as Africans because we see when Tony Ansin wins, it means that Africa has won. And when the world is seeing her, even us, we are represented. And so we can see. We are in Jamaica! My people, now what is happening here? This girl that is jumping, she's a girl from Africa, Nigeria. Immediately, the winner has been announced. And she has found out that the winner is a Jamaican. And this lady, she is very happy. You know why? The Jamaican lady is a sister from Africa. Now, this is what is happening. The Nigerian lady, she is extremely, extremely happy and happy and happy. For the, the kings and queens of Jamaica. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about four things. After seeing Tony Ansin, the Jamaican lady, the beautiful Jamaican lady, Caribbean queen, winning that title. And you can see the Nigerian girl jumping happily. You know, she's, she's excited. You know why? Because her African sisters won. Now, number one, why was the Nigerian girl happy despite the fact that she never won? Number one, Africa won. Miss Nigeria knew that a win for Jamaica is a representation of the African continent. A prosperity of Jamaica is a prosperity of African continent. Progression of Jamaica is a progression of the African continent. Love from Jamaica is a love from African continent. And so some are shocked. Why is she jumping? Why is she happy? She's not a bad-minded girl. She has learned one love from Jamaica and she knows that once a Jamaica wins, Africa is won. They've always talked of Africa more than we do. And so Miss Douglas, Nigerian lady, knew that, you know what, we can entrust Jamaicans with our lives. Number two, as I said earlier, there is a, there is a blood between Nigerians and, and Jamaicans. During transatlantic slave trade, Remember, many Nigerians were taken from Nigeria to Caribbean. And so when they reunited at that world stage, they were telling the world, you know what? You separated us, but we are reuniting. You wanted us to have a bad blood, the Africans and Caribbeans, but we are not going to do that. And so that's why this girl is jumping. This, guy is, this girl is shouting. You know why? Because the unity or the reunification that we have always been talking about and preaching and advocating for has started and you can see her hugging her sister why because many nigerians 
were taken from West Africa during the transatlantic slave trade. It was not easy. Some died. And today, Miss Douglas, in that stage or on that stage, she is seeing the Jamaican queen. She is seeing a sister that was taken from her. And so the world is shocked. They are shocked, but they know. They don't know. They don't know the tingo. The world don't know the tingo. The tingo between Jamaica and Nigeria. And that is what is happening there for those of you who don't know the tingo. Number three, the world learned how Jamaicans are humble. Not what the media say. Look at Tony Anson. She is the winner. But she's very humble. Look at the way she's walking. She even doesn't, I mean, like she don't believe. In fact, let me tell you the truth. Tony Anson wanted the Nigerian girl to win. Because that is her sister. And, you know, she, she has won. But she, she feels for the Nigerian queen. You know, that is the humility from Caribbean. Caribbean people has always, have always taught us love. They've always taught us let us be together. Even if I win, you've also won. And so you can see Tony Anson, the Nigerian queen. She's not, you know, she's not proud and, and bragging. No, she's just walking calmly. She also wanted the other contestants who never won to, who never won to feel at home. Not some people when you win, you want to be little to some people. No, you don't be little people. Look at when Jamaicans win. They're always humble. They're telling people, you know, it was a competition. But out of many, we are still one. And that is a lesson that Jamaica taught the world on that stage. The problem with some people, some media, when Jamaica is teaching the reality, they don't want. We need writers to write that Tony Anson, after her win, she was very humble. She was very humble. That is a humility that comes from Jamaica, that originated from Africa. Lastly, <clears throat> when the Nigerian girl is going to the Jamaican lady and hugging her, you know what she's telling her? If we come together as Africans, we conquer the world. Because look at the three contestants. We had Jamaican from African origin, and we had the other lady, maybe from Brazil, and we had the Nigerian lady. So among the three, we have two Africans. So the Nigerian girl and the Jamaican, they are you know, they are reuniting and showing the world. Africans, Marcus Gave wanted us to unite. Look at what we are doing. Because of unity, we have reached the final. Bob Marley sang about one love. Many reggae artists, Peter Tosh, told us to be together. Let us not be divided. And so Africans, if we come together, we can conquer the world. That is what is being taught there. Some of us, we are looking for the teachings. But the teachings are right before us. When a Jamaican lady and a Nigerian lady hugged, the two were hugging, the two were celebrating and telling the world that Africans, let us come together. Remember, there is a time when Serena Williams and Vanessa Williams were playing together because they had no competition. Trevor Barbie from Jamaica to fight with Tyson, they had no competition. So they are telling the world that we Africans, if we come together, we can conquer together. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not stop talking about my African brothers and I will not stop talking about my Jamaican brothers because it's time for us to also support our own. And those of you who are thinking that very soon I'm going to stop, then you're going to be shocked. Our motto comes from Bob Marley's song, One Love. And our teachings come from Marcus Gavi. He wanted Africans, both in the African continent, both in diaspora, to come and be one people, one family. I am not going to give up. I am not going to tire until I see the full realization of my people. For now, my people, I wish you well. Let us meet tomorrow, same place, same time. One love, my people.